Hello everyone, this is Dr. Siresha, working as Associate Professor in Institute of Aeronautical Engineering College, Dundigal, Hyderabad. Today we are going to discuss about linker list and what a single linker list and its implementation. And we are going to look at various operations that can be performed on single linker list and its basic pros and cons. Let me introduce you the concept of linker list. Before that, you need to understand what are the drawbacks of an array which have laid a path to reach linker list? Have a, let's have a brief overview of what an array is. Array is nothing but a collection of elements in a contiguous memory locations. Say if the first element is at location 200, the second will be at 2004 if we are trying to store integer values. Third will be at 208. In contiguous memory locations, the elements will be stored. The basic drawback with the arrays is it's a fixed size. Before we use arrays, we need to fix the size of it. Let's take a sample code from C programming. Whenever we talk of uh, an array while declaring it, we mention the maximum size needed within square bracket. Even if you use two elements or 20 elements, it should be within the limits. If it goes beyond, the compiler is not going to consider it, right? That is a basic drawback. Even though we can dynamically increase the size of an array, it is a tedious process. We cannot dynamically do it, right? And uh, physical storage, the, uh, the basic definition of array itself is one of the drawbacks or limitations of an array. We, if you want a huge amount of data to be stored in contiguous memory locations and your memory device cannot provide it, that becomes a problem once again, right? So how, next is how to insert or delete an item from an array. Let's have a look at uh, the same array which I have uh, displayed over here now. For example, say, this array is having random values 2, 4, 3, 1, 5. What and the index values of these elements will be 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. What if the case where insert operation, let's consider I want to insert an element 9 at say third position, right? To do so, I have to make a copy of the elements into the next indexes to make the third position vacant. That is an index value to I want to insert over here. To achieve this, I have to make a copy of the elements. I'll show you how I'm going to do this. Right? So index value 0, 1, 2, 3. 4 and say 5. I have to make a copy of 5 in its next index which is 5. 1 at index number 3 and uh, the value 3 at index 3 and the 3 at the index 2 will be as it is and the remaining elements will be as it is. Now I am going to push or overwrite the content at third position by 9. See, to insert an element at third position, I have to move all the elements towards right direction, SL, right? What if I want to insert an element at first position? I have to move the whole list one step towards right. So it's such a, a lengthy process or time-consuming process. Coming to deletion. Delete. Uh, delete uh, first element. Have to delete the first element. So in the above list 249315, you want to remove the element at the uh, 08th index. That is the first element in your list. Have to do that. 
so you are supposed to overwrite the content mane 4 is going to get overwritten on 2 9 will be overwritten on 4 3 will be overwritten on 9 1 will be overwritten on 3 5 will be overwritten on 1 and you are going to reduce the size of the list so it's such a tedious step these many steps are involved in deleting an element from a array right to overcome this we have come up with a linked list which overcomes the basically the ma major drawback that is the fixed size drawback one by using dynamic size at every point of time if you want to insert an element create a node insert it if you want to delete a node build a few relationships which i'll show you in the coming few minutes okay and free that node so and insertion and deletion is quite easy when compared to your arrays you need not touch the remaining data when you perform insertion or deletion right so these are the basic advantages of uh, linked list over arrays right so linked list linked list is a linear data structure where data is not stored in contiguous memory locations then there are various types of single link linked list we have one is single linked list double linked list and circular linked list single linked list here each element is linked to only one another element that is its next state that means the data can run unidirectional only from left to right to overcome that double linked list have come into the picture where data can the control over the data can run in a forward as well as reverse directions circular linked list this is also an enhancement of single linked list where the last data item is linked to the first one that is the data is stored in a circular fashion i'll show you pictorially what means have a look at these pictures single linked list the first one here the first item is five so basically let me explain you what this cubical structure is this is nothing but a node we call it as a node node have two parts one is data part the other is the link part link part holds the address of the next node okay so i have a look at this one at the head node uh, the first node will be the head node right so 5 is linked to 10 10 is linked to 15 15 is linked to 20 whereas 20 is not linked to any other element so its link part or the address part is uh, stored with the uh, programming language if you talk you can say it is filled with null or none These are the keywords generally which use null we use in C programming, none we use in Python programming language. So either one of the keywords would be used to say that there is no node linked right now. Okay, coming to the double linked list. Double linked list is the an extension of single linked list. Have a look at this one. A single linked list. The data is flowing from left to right. You do not have once for say for example you are at node fifteen. From fifteen you can travel only towards twenty because the link part of fifteen is having only the address of twenty. So you can link only to the element twenty. You cannot. Uh, you cannot uh, travel in the reverse direction or reach the element. Ten, right? So as we do not have the address of the previous element, coming to double linked list, it overcomes this drawback. Every node will have three parts. Have a look at this one. Node is having three parts, right? So in that, the middle part will be the data part. The left link will be the address part. Address part which holds the address of its previous node. and the right link will hold the address of its next node right so in rl we are going to store the address of node 15 whereas at ll that is left link we are going to store the address of the node 
with these two addresses in hand every node can travel either in forward direction or in reverse direction both the directions uh, traveling in both the directions is feasible right so have a look at the last node in the last node its next part is storing none or null or not holding any address which says that it do not have any next element thereby indirectly saying that it is the last node coming to the first node you can see that its left link is null or none saying that it is the first element as it does not hold the previous elements address if a person is running in the first place if we can say how can we say that he is the first person because no one is there in front of him who is running in a running race say for example right at the same time uh, when can we say that a person is the last person if no person is behind him we can say that he is the last person in the same way if the first nodes previous address that is the left link is uh, filled with the null we say that it is the first node if the last node's right link is filled with null we call it as the last node okay coming to circular linked list circular linked list is a single linked list where the last node holds the address of the first node have a look at the link which we have built see the last node is holding or hooked to the first node so these are the three kinds or three variants of linked list in this lecture we are going to concentrate on single linked list right let's understand the concept of node first of all to understand a single linked list so in linked list order ordered sequence of items are called nodes okay node is the basic unit it is a building block of linked list which is two portions as i said one is the data portion the other is the link link is nothing but nothing but the part which holds the address of the next node right so let's uh, go into the basic operations that we are going to perform on single linked list one is we can create a linked list we can traverse through the list that is uh, hopping from one node to the other right so and displaying the data thereby we can see that how we are traversing through the list right that is the other operation then inserting an element then deleting an element and then this merging of two lists into a single list so are the basic operations coming to this one basic fundamental operations are insertion and deletion okay so coming to that insertion and deletion also have three parts the first part will be or the first sub case will be inserting a new node as the first element second is inserting an element as the last element or insert case three, the inserting an element as the as the any or uh, inserting an element at any given position say third position fifth position depending upon the size of the list so these three becomes the three sub cases of insertion as well as deletion okay let's have a look at the creation of a node how to create a node first of all i'm going to explain you with a bits and pieces of python code okay let's have a look at this one this is class node where i'm going to write a constructor to create a node so the constructor of this class is having one parameter that is data parameter and it is having two members one is data and the other is next so whatever data with which this uh, object is being created that will be passed to this member variable and the next part initially as the node is not linked to any other node or it doesn't have any next node its address part will be filled with none so the basic code will be new node is equal to the name of the class which is node and the data which i'm going to pass to say 20 this will create a node 
with its data part as 20 and its next part as none. This is nothing but the new node. This is how we are going to create a new node. Once it is created, we can establish a relation between the existing nodes or even it can be the first node of its kind also. Right? So this class node is meant only to create a node. All the remaining functions which are, are required for working with a single linked list are placed in the class linked list, which is having a constructor whose variable is stuck, which is filled with none. Then the primary question over here is what is stuck? Stuck is nothing but a pointer variable. It's just a pointer variable which can hold only the address. Initially, I am storing none in it, saying that it doesn't hold any address or it is not related to anything. But once you start attaching or once you start constructing or creating a linker list, we are going to store the first node's address in the stack. Remember guys, there is a very key point over here. While working with single linker list, or say the concept of linker list, we have access to only the first address of the node. That becomes one of the limitations of linker list when compared to your arrays. With arrays, if you specify the index value, we can retrieve that value. For example, say int a of a 20, say 20 elements are declared. If you want to retrieve an element at index 3 just by referring to its index value in the, within the square brackets, taking the name of the array will be enough. But in case of linked list, we do not have index values. We just have the address of the first node in our hands, which is stored in the stack. In few books, you can even, when you refer, you can even uh, hear the terminology like head right both are one and the same okay so stat is the pointer variable which holds the address of the first node through which you can perform any operation okay but initially it is declared as none because no node is being created yet right so let's start with single link list creation algorithm okay so how many nodes you want to create the list say three Okay, so for three elements, I'm going to run this loop three times. You can see for i in range of n, which is three. So zero, one, two, right? i value will be zero, one, two. For every i to value, read the value, a data piece. This is object creation or object of class node is created by calling its constructor with a data as a parameter, right? So with this piece of code, you can say that a node, a new node is created with whatever data you provide to it and its link part as none. Now, we have two cases, a case where, a case where the stat is empty or none, this piece of when will be the stack uh, have will bear the value none? When there is no list. There is no list yet been created. If that is the case, store the address of the new node. Say this new node is created at location 2000. Your start pointer will hold the address 2000. Saying that it is the first node of its kind. If this is not the case, where the stack is not none that is the else part then what to do take a temporary name the first node as 10 and you start taking, taking the hops from one node to the other node until unless you reach a node whose next part is none what do you mean by that so when will a node's next part will be none if it is the last node so once you reach the last node, store the address of the new node in the next part of 10. 
thereby you are going to create a link between the new node and the already existing list so let's have a look at the scene okay with this bits and pieces of animation so if initially the start is none so creation of the first node I have created a new node its address is placed in start saying that they have created a hypothetical relation between the start the start and the new node what if the case where you have handful of elements and you have to insert a new element while creating a list right so have a look this is the case where you have handful of elements if i write it broadly 21 and 22 are the two elements in your list, list right now now you want to insert an element at the last so what to do so first of all name the first node as template which i have done and i'm going to check whether its next is none or not its next is not none. so take a hop so temporary has taken a hop and it reached here is its next part none yes its next part is none. the condition satisfied so stop hopping now and store the address of the new node in the next part of the temporary thereby you have built a relation between the new node and the last node of the existing list thereby you have insert similarly you can create one more node say mm, let me say at location 5000 element is 24 and it's not next part is not. this is the new node which you want to insert what you are going to do name the first element as temp check whether its next part is none or no no it is not none condition satisfied take a hop now temporary is add on is the name of the second is its next part none no take a hop so now temporary is over here is its next part none yes the condition satisfied now what you are going to do is what is the next part of temporary this one none which is holding it overwrite it with the address of the new node what is the address of the new node 5000 it means you have built a relation between the last node and the new node see um, start is holding the address 2000 and at 2000 a node at 2000 is saying that it is its next element is at 3000 the element at 3000 is saying that its next element is at 4000. Element at 4000 is saying that its next element is at 5000. And here you find an element at 5000, which is saying that its next is none, which is specifies that this is the last node of single element. Right? This is how we are going to insert a node in the tape. Right? right. As I specified earlier, uh, operations on single link list, the basic operations that is insertion on deletion have three sub cases that is one is to insert a node at the front end and at a given position the same with deletion in deleting an element at the front end the last or the rare end that is the last node or any interior node or a, any node at a given position Okay, let's look at each and every case with the bits and pieces of animation. Okay, inserting a node at the beginning, what we have to do? So, as the head holds the address of uh, the first node, just overwrite the content of head with the node and store the address of the first node at E. Right, a pseudo code for this one is something like insert begin read a value right n is the new data create a node with it check always be on a safer side guys check whether you have a list or not if list is existing that will be one case if the start is none which specifies that list does not exist then that will be another case 
So if uh, the star is none, then the new node will be the first node of its kind. Else, and this these are the basic pieces of code to insert an element at the beginning, which I'm going to explain you with a small piece of animation. Let's have a look. Right now, we are having a list with 21 and 22. Now, we want to insert 20 at the beginning, right? This is the final list which you need. Let's progress in this direction, okay? So, first of all, what you are going to do is name the first element as temporary, okay? So, with this bits and pieces of code, have a look. The first node is named as temporary, right? Then Temporary money, the address 2000, is placed in new node's next part. This is the second step. If this is the first step, this becomes the second step. Storing the address of temporary in new node's next part. This is the new node, right, which you want to insert, right? So, in the next part. The third step is... As you want to change, change the first node, the start pointer holds the address of the first node. That you have to change, right? So that I'm going to change by storing the address of new node in the start. This is my third step. Simple three steps. First step is naming the first node as temporary. Second step is storing of uh, the temporary address in new node's next part. Third step is overwriting the first node's address with the new node address in the start. Now have a look at this one. The old link is broken. A new link is established which says that the first node is at location 5000 and the node at 5000 says that its next node is at 2000. With this you can insert a node at beginning of a single link list. Okay. Then, how to insert a node at the end, right? So, very simple. Ma, you, you guys, you can guess. Name the first node as temporary. This piece of code which we have already seen, right? Take the hop until you reach a node whose next part is none. Once you reach that, override. Have a look at the pseudo code, right? It's a piece of Python code, my dears. So, read the data, create a node. This is the case where list is not existing. This is the main point. Make the first node as the temporary node. Once it is done, take a while loop and hop till the node where uh, the node's next part is equal to none. That means reach the last node. This logic is to reach the last node. As I said, we do not have the uh, all the addresses of the nodes, all the nodes in our hands. We just have the address of the first node in our hands. So we have to you know, pull the chain with that address only so that we reach the right node, right? Once you reach the last node, store the address of the new node in temporary nodes, that is last nodes next. Thereby, it is no longer the last node, Tim becomes the last but one. Let's have a look at an animation. So the list right now is like this 21, 22. Now you want to insert 20 at the last. This is the list which you want. Let's proceed in this direction. Right? So first of all, name the first node as temporary. And you're going to take the hop. Until unless you reach a node whose next is not none. I took a hop. Here the temperature next is none. Job done. I reached the last node. Once I reach the last node, new nodes here. Uh, this uh, node is the new node. Okay. New nodes address, which is 5000, is placed in temporary next. What is temporary next? It is none which will be overwritten by the value 5000, thereby gracing a relation between these two, right? Have 
this is the connection which I have shown just now. So 5000 is going to come over here, they are establishing a relation between these two and creating a or inserting a new node at the table. Got it? I hope I am clear till now. Let's look at an another case, inserting a node at a given position. Till now, we didn't bother about the position because beginning money by default you are insert or you are changing the first node, right? And inserting at the end itself tells that you are changing the last node. So, hearing a position value is not required actually. But what if you want to insert an element in between, which is neither the first element or nor the last element? In that case, you have to read the position. So, I have read the data, I have created the node. This is the as usual work which I always do. Then the new job which I am going to do is reading the position. Once I read the position, I am going to count the total number of nodes in the list. Right? If it is the first node, not a problem. Create it. Uh, but I need to see that it's the position, whatever I'm going to read, must be between the boundaries, between excluding the boundaries, guys. If there are, say, five elements in your list, right, the position value must be between two to four. Either it can be second element, third element, or fourth element. Why? Because if the position is equal to one, means beginning. You want to insert an element at the beginning for which we have an exclusive case. For example, if I say position is 5, that is um, inserting element at the end for which I have an exclusive case. I want to look at the cases which are apart from beginning and the end. Right? For that sake, I have taken a new insertion case which is inserting a node at a given position. So, I am checking if the position is greater than 1 and less than the count. Once I get satisfied with that, I am going to run my code. I am going to name the first uh, node as 10. I am going to reach the position where I want to place my new node. So initially my i value will be uh, 1, that is the first one, first node and I will take hops until unless I reach a position where a position where I want to insert in and one more point guys I have taken previous a new temporary variable why because you all know that single linker list can travel only in one direction so if you want to insert an element between have a look at this one previously we were establishing only one relation because it was a, a simple case is like inserting at the beginning or the end. But in the middle, if you want to insert someone, then you have to establish a relation between its previous element as well as its next element. Temporary is going to hold the address of the next element. So some variable must be there to hold the address of the previous element, right? So for that sake, previous variable I am going to keep, right? So with these two, I am going to establish a relation. Let's explain you with a small animation. Have a look at this one. This is a case where I have two nodes, 21 and 22. I want to insert a new node in between. Something like this. Okay, this is my resultant list which I want to do. So now let's do the same thing. Initially, Temporary and previous will be on the head of the same node, right? So, our main point is to check the count, right? So, while i is less than position, right? So, 1 is less than position. What is your position? The second position you want to insert, right? So, 1 is less than 2, condition satisfied. So, previous will be as it is, whereas temp is going to take a hop, the temp is over here. i is incremented. Now i value is 2. And 2 is less than 2 condition fixed. So 
once the condition fails, this is the same. Right? So, now, nah, this, they are a trite condition. Let's uh, decode these two pieces of code. To insert an element at this position, I have two steps to follow. The step one is, place the new node's address in previous next. Previous is the name of this node. Its next part will be this one, which is actually 3000, but it is overwritten by the new node's address, which is 5000. Thereby establishing a relation this way. Now, previous is saying that my next node is at location 5000, right? The second step, say this if this is the first step, second step is new node's next, which is actually. The none. I will look at this one. This is spelled with none, saying that it's not related to any node yet. Right? So, 3000, it is filled with the, the address of the temporary, which is 3000, thereby establishing a relation between new node and temporary. This one. Now, I hope you can see it very clearly that the element 20 is inserted between 21 and 20. This is how we are going to insert an element at a given position. First of all, reach that position and then establish the relations. Okay. So, let's have a look at uh, deleting a node at the beginning. This is uh, next followed pseudocodes are for deleting a node. Then how to delete a node. Let's have a look at this one. The basic prerequisite case is check whether the start is none or not. If it is none, then it says that the list is empty. Then is, there is no point in saying that delete the first node if the list itself is empty. So I'm going to just print empty and I'm going to return. Right? I'm going to close the function. What if it is not the case? So for that, this is a piece of code. These are the three steps that you need to take. Name the first node as temporary and uh, whatever whatever the address the temporary next is holding or the start next is holding, make it as new start. So this is the second step. This is the new start. Then make the or store the new starts address in the start point. I'll show you with an animation. You did not worry. Have a look at this one. The list is something like this and you have to delete the first one to make a single valued list. So to do this, let's proceed in that direction. Okay. So first of all, temporary is the name given to the first node. Then uh, temporaries next. Okay. So temporaries next. What is temporaries next? It is given a name. Okay. So once it is given a separate piece of code will be start sequel So what is the value of temp next? 3000. 3000 is the new name given for new start. Okay. Then next. Right. Next. Establish a relation. Establish a relation between the first node and the new. So overwrite the address of the start pointer with the address of the new start, that is 3000. Thereby you are establishing the relation. Now free the space which is allocated for temporary. This is how you can remove, remove the first node or the node at the beginning in a single list. Now let's have a look at how to delete a node at the last. Have to reach the last node, that is the main point. Once you reach the last node, job done. Let's have a look. So, first of all, check whether there is a list existing or not. If it is existing, it's a different story. If it is not existing, list print empty and leave. What if it is existing? Then mark the first node as temporary and uh, to hold the address of its previous node. Take an another variable previous and mute. Travel till the last node in such a way that temporary is the name of 
the last one. And previous is the name of its previous one, right? So this is how we are going to delete a node at the end. For example, this is the list 21, 22. You want to remove the element 29. The final list should be only with 21. Let's do the same as. So by naming, I have a converter. Uh, temporary is the name of the last one. Previous is the name of the last one. You know. Then by simply making the previous next as none. That means removing the address in the link part of the previous node. You are just forgetting the thing. Right? The link between them is broken. Right? And then free the temp. Whatever the memory got allocated for temporary, free. Then what is the node present in your list? Only 20. It's very simple. Okay? Now, the last case. A case where you are supposed to delete an element which is at a given position. As I have said for insertion, inserting an element at a given position, the same theory applies over here. First of all, I am going to get the count of total number of uh, nodes in the list first of all. Then I am going to see that the position which we are going to read should not be the beginning or the ending case as I have ex exclusive cases for deleting an element at the beginning as well as deleting an element at the end, right? If the position is an in-between position, then I will run it, right? So I'm going to run in such a way that just like insertion, I'm going to see that, see that a temporary is the name of the node which I want to remove and previous is the name of the node which is just behind the temporary node. Okay, let's so have a look at this one. The data is something like this 21, 22, 23. If the position that I'm going to read is uh, second position, then 22 is supposed to be the node. So the final list will be 21 and 23. This is what I'm going to do. Okay, so let me do this. Okay, so I've taken temporary and previous such data. Now temporary is the name, the node which I want to remove. Then establish a relation between previous and temporary next. How to do that? Very simple. Store the address in temporary next, in previous next. If I write a piece of code for the same, previous next is equal to temp next. So whatever the address in the temp next which is 4000 present will be placed in previous. Right? Thereby you are breaking the relation between the nodes. Right? So now free temp, the element is removed. So those were the six cases of insertion and deletion. Now, now this is a case where you are going to look at the elements or traverse from one element to the other element. By display, how could one know that you have traversed from one node to the other? If you display the same, then the job is done. Have a look at this. If the start is none, then I will just print empty and I'll quit because the list is empty. Nothing to traverse or nothing to display if it is not the case. Then from the starting node, first node, travel till the node which is at the end, start printing the temporary address and take the homes. And uh, take the steps in such a way that once you reach the last node, print the last node's address. So even in this, uh, if you remove remove this one, you'll get the data something like this, 21, 22, and 23. And then list the unit. This is nothing but a transit. Now I do basic drawbacks. You have seen many advantages of maintenance. It is quite easy to insert an element or a delete an element, directly create an element and establish the relationship. Job is done. But 
even Lingalis suffer a lot. The case where the memory, memory point of view, every node stores the address of the next node. So, a cumulative way, if you think the amount of data, uh, memory required to store the address path is a bit higher when compared to store the data path. So, in memory point of view, it needs loads of extra space. Second point, in all the six operations or including Travis, seven operations, you might have seen that always we have started from the first node. We cannot access any intermediate element or we cannot go for a random check because every node holds the address of the next node. So from where you are going to start, where is the start? Start is the pointer which holds the address of only one node which is the start. So whatever operation you want to do, you have to do from the first node. So random access is not possible. That is one of the major drawbacks with linked list. And uh, nodes are not in continuous manner. They are inter in contiguous in nature. So it increases the time required to navigate from one node to the other. The first node is at location 2000 and the other is at 8000. The time, the CPU time, right, which is required to travel is very high. So CPU cache, the fastest memory which we call. So the, it is a, it's a volatile one where the most frequently used data is stored. Cannot be implemented using linked list. That's what they are trying to say. CPU cache especially cannot be created using linked these are the three major disadvantages with the drawbacks with a linker list. I hope with this video you understood what a linker list is basically. What are the drawbacks of arrays which brought you uh, to linker list, types of linker list and the basic operations that we can perform on a single linker list, especially the insertion, deletion and traversal and the drawbacks of a linked list. I hope I'm clear with it. As we have seen that single linked list suffers a lot, which are, are circular linked list and double linked list are going to overcome. Please watch my next video to understand the same. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.